Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be an unexpected uh how can I say this? Basically, I, I was kinda doing stuff in between episodes. Going to get stuff that I had missed before, and I came over here, I'll show you where I am afterwards, and wow. Jess, I could not believe these guys are here. So they've already put up some elemental versus elementals, so kinda pointless to Yeah, Chaos Lieutenants, Chaos Slayers, and a Chaos Sorcerer. I really hope I can get that Chaos Armor. I wonder if these guys are respawning ones too. As you see, I still only have three party members. I haven't gone to get the new one yet. <laughs> it's just, uh, this should be a very interesting fight, nonetheless. High level chaos minions. Very easily, if I, if at all, <laughs> with ranged attacks. Look how much HP that the tenant has. Let's give a fireball a try. Why not? Even with the verses up, maybe I can still do some good damage here. Yeah, no. <laughs> nope, well, I managed to hit that one, though. Oh, no. Haha, <laughs> 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 I resisted that one. I need to get versus elemental up. And other versus, probably. Two can play at this game. <laughs> you two can play at that game. Ah, uh, of course he resisted. Versus star up as well. This fight very well, maybe hard, the hardest one I've done so far. Bone wall might have actually been a decent thing to bring him along. Oh, now he's gonna try using that. See how much damage I can do with lightning. <laughs> Not a lot. Completely resisted, of course. If I have, if I had dispels, I could take away their buffs. But I'm just gonna have to tough it out at this point. They can't kill the main character. He's too good at the moment. Too well equipped. Oh! I need to kill 
bad thing. There's still two more sorcerers or spell weavers. Wow, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's hit the sorcerer. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Unless I had dispels, there's nothing I could do. Range attacks just aren't gonna work. I got my switch to melee on both of them. I don't know how good their sword skills is on Brenna though. Oh, debilitation. Dang it. No! You weren't allowed to do that. You annoying. No one potion can remove it. Which one is it? Bingo. So if I just use the restore potions, then I can do some damage here. First things first though. of debilitation. Oh, those son of a bitches. Okay. Did all those already. So. I guess all I can do is use a restore potion. And I hope Brenna can get mirror. rid of that. successfully casting on me. Once I get the sword on, then at least I'll have it on, but the problem is mainly... <laughs> right now I can't even equip the Warfang. Okay, let's get this uh, store potion on the main character used. That way they're gonna try... Their time trying to cast it, but with mirror and versus elemental, there's no way it's gonna succeed anymore. If they do, they're lucky as hell. This is probably gonna be most of the episode. <laughs> 
Uh, all right. Strength on everyone. Buff us up. Okay, now let's get that warfang on her. Fast if I want to go in the other direction, but whatever. Okay. She's got the Warfang. She gets another action. Let's come behind him. Smack him! Nicely done! Way to go, Keelan. That's the major threat dealt with. Let's get rid of this guy. sword to her of some kind. What's her sword skill? Two. Well, you know what? <laughs> At this point, kind of may as well. Gented blade. We'll see how well she does with it. Really hoping I get a chaos armor from this fight. If not, then I'm going to try and find somewhere where these sort of guys respawn. I can fight them over and over. And, uh... 11 damage. Yeah, there's not much hope in that. Really doing a lot of damage. Let's finish this off. Everything on the field is hasted. When everything on the field is hasted, is really there a point to having haste? <laughs> See how well I hit those guys. Eh, decent. Probably should get the thief skill up higher on the main character now. And the other stuff, other skills as well. Weapon skills. I'll be able to now, so. I've got the spare experience. Throw a healing potion. They're gonna probably focus on casting spells, but just in case they decide to turn around and hit us. 60 damage. That's a high thief. Plus, I think it's like 7 or 8 sword skill on her. It's, it's a lot of damage. No one wanna kill this guy. Reinforcements are fleeing. That's one of the sorcerers is gone. Perfect. This battle just turned in my favor. Let's finish off this guy. They're resistant to magic, so these magic weapons aren't hitting as hard, obviously. But uh, I'm not going to switch out to a physical weapon. I mean, why bother? Have we don't I don't need to put any more resistance. Ah, the sorcerers feeling and successfully did so. Okay. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Dead. Now the fight's easy. <laughs> it's just a matter of waiting for the others to show up. Nope, I want healing potion. Boom! Right on top of us. Killed. See how much damage she does. <laughs> 36. Yeah. Sword skill's not high, so... 75 from behind. She gets another turn. I really like healing. Brenna can... Yeah, has the potential of being like this too, so... Don't say that Brenna's weak. I just have used her for... You know, differently than, than I have in the past. And well, it was beneficial to start because it, it was less likely for her to get killed. <laughs> uh, now I'm seeing the potential of maybe switching to melee, at least from time to time. 
Um, but we'll see about that. 23,000 experience. Very nice. Chainmail. <gasps> Chaos armor. Yes. I've heard about these. I have never seen them. 12 protection. They have the highest defense in the game. No penalties. Granted, they don't have like resistances and stuff like the Chaos Rose, which I just got two of. You know, those are useful at times, but there are other times when the Chaos Armor will be useful, and oh, yes. And look at all those stuff I just got, too. That is just... Wow. And, oh, that, yeah, see, I came here for this, and I'm going to be rewarded with it. Uh... What? That was not what I was expecting. It's still, there we go, Helm of Tempest. There we go. Yes, and these chests are all still have uh, been emptied, so that's okay. So, if you don't recognize this place, I came here twice, I think, or at least once, uh, looking for the Helm of Tempest. And I'm in caves in the mountains. Um... footsteps uh in the mountains by Aramon. so yes we're all the way back here while i was in Aramon, i checked to see if maybe beckon uh has gone was gone to his shop or the end or something he's not there probably gone for good so well whatever let's re-equip her with dragon fang uh missile seven sword seven thief yeah that's that is why I was able to pull that off so well <laughs> with the warfang, and that probably will be a weapon I'd have her, I'll have her use more often in the future. But for now, that and the the the, the Mace of Glory is probably the best half weapon in the game, as good as the Chaos Maul was in the last video. Again, certain things, the. The chaos. Uh, I found that the if if the lightning hits, the the chance to hit to cast lightning on, on attack with the mace glory hits. Uh, it does more. It's just really good. So anyway, um, oh, I want to save because <laughs> what after what just happened? Why would I not want to save? <laughs> that was an awesome, awesome start to the episode. I'm going to pause the video here and. Maybe look for more guys like that to fight in here. Okay, so I just stepped through the portal in the Ozum Forest. Um, and this happened. The spirit appeared as a cutscene started immediately. Very interesting. <laughs> well, hold on one second. All right, I just wanted to confirm whether or not this was now the time, and it's not. So I'll just say this. I'll let you see all the dialogue. actually for myself too, but yeah. Alright, so. 
Uh, you know, I could have tried, but it's gonna fail until something specific happens. So, I hope that wasn't a chest I missed. <laughs> no, probably not. So now I can use this portal to go back and forth between the Ozen Forest and here, which is awesome. Because that means I have a shortcut, essentially, between um, Terminor and Jandar, the Jandar town of uh, Ugarit, which we're heading to soon, and uh, between Aramon and Gornia as well. Well, mostly Gornia, but I can go into Gornia and then take the portal to Aramon. The only one who's not really close by to the portals is uh, Portside, which there's almost no reason to go back there, and Tailwalk, which is not that far, oh really, away from uh, <clears throat> from Terminal, sorry. So, you know, it's 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 the main thing. So it's, it's really useful, and I just have to remember how to get <laughs> to and from this spot quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make my way back to Terminor from here, and I'll pick this up once I'm there. Alright, so here we are, back in Terminor. And first thing to do, I think, is to find our new friend. We have, actually have a couple choices of people we could choose in this town. Um, two of which are ones we've never met before, and then one other, who we have met before, who's lower level, if we wanted to, we could take him. Uh, well, actually, I think make that two others. Huh, Red is here. Um... <laughs> Whoops. That was not supposed to happen, because, well, yeah. 21 versus 3? No. No thanks. Uh, so here's the guy I think we do need. Maybe. Guy looks like he's a. Well, he looks like Donkey Kong. <laughs> uh, I think this is him. Honestly, I, I I'm not sure, but I think this is him. He's he's poetic, I guess, and he looks like a brute. Sounds like the guy I'm looking for here. Baird, yep. Poet, ranger, and <laughs> one time leader of men. <laughs> I don't know why they call him a ranger, but okay. Well, since I've never spoken to him before at all, I'm going to ask him some questions. <laughs> blah blah yes okay Brenna you're not going away <laughs> there you go got rid of Brenna Retta, and she's right here if I ever want her <laughs> there's Arturo as well 
And apparently there's one other. Maybe he's in here somewhere. If not, then he's around the town. Uh, his The other guy's name is... Oh, well, I guess he's right here. Donovan, yep. Well, <laughs> we could take him along. Let me see something here. What does this thing say about him? Where is that? There we go. Donovan. Alright, so apparently he is a, according to this guy, a swashbuckling duelist. <laughs> He can't learn Throne or Missile or Shield. Okay, I see. Yeah. He's got High Level in Warrior, Wizardry, Diplomat. Okay. Yeah, the way he talks. I'm not surprised. Uh, high Level in Sword. His stats are pretty good. He's got... Oh, he's of the Naming School. Cool. That's cool. So, yeah, he could be useful in theory. But I was kind of hoping for someone with, well, a shield. <laughs> um, Baird here, if I look at him, he is the same level. Stats are roughly the same. He has healer, he's got Lord Master, Torbador at 7, that's no surprise there. Warrior at 9, nice. Shield at 9. Haft, Throne, Pull, all at 8. Ooh, I could give him the Fire Staff. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> um, he can learn sword, but he doesn't have it le learned. He hasn't learned it. I'll probably teach him it <laughs> and have him work on that. He can't learn alchemy. He can't learn wizard or missile. He can use poles, but whatever. <laughs> really, the only good and magical poles in the game are all staffs. So I don't know why a um, barbarian poet would be able to use staffs or would want to use staffs. It really doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, um, yeah, I kind of like how he's got really high warrior and shield. And I, I, I mean, yeah, he, this guy looks cool, but I kind of want Baird. I mean, I, I could try him out, you know. Um... see if Ooh, okay donovan apparently sometimes will leave forever if you leave if he leaves the the party whereas baird will always be there so that's interesting <laughs> Does he actually use two swords? Interesting. I 
can't have Brenna leave, I know that. I'll hold on to him for now, I think. Um, maybe I'll, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's tell her to stay here for now. We'll, we'll check out these two new guys. Um, because really, if I want Keelan back, she is going to be right around here somewhere, I'm guessing. Maybe in one of the rooms. There she is. Yeah, she's right here. Uh, I know that because I remember my other playthrough. Uh, she comes here after you've made it to Terminor for the first time. So, I got all of my stuff back, obviously. Yes, I did. Okay. So, I want to see what happens. This is why I kind of took him. I want to see what happens if I... Can he not wield two at the same time? That's... 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 That's, that's unfortunate. Because <laughs> it said he could, right? I mean... Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Stats are pretty good. Need to work on his decks to max that out. Strength as well. <laughs> I'm surprised it's only 20. But does that mean can he even use the... Well, he can use the Warfang, yeah, in theory. Yeah, he can. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Diplomacy, Warrior, Wizard, Sword, Half, see, he's got a lot less here, but this <laughs> Wizard 7, I mean, it's understandable, and some pretty, um, don't have, a... I've got someone with the Versus Star, Banishing, it's actually on the main character right now, if I'm here to show you, look at all this. Taught him a whole bunch of new spells, mostly, as you can tell, either they're all like either naming or necro, necromancy spells, and I got to spell necro because I figured why not. Um, some other changes I may as well mention. I've got um, the spell elemental on Brenna to eight, gave her control elemental through a scroll, and strength to eight as well. I also taught some stuff to Keelan, which I'd have to show you when I get her back. <laughs> uh, ooh. Yes, also did this. Shield 6. <laughs> Not that that's a huge difference, right? Alright, so, Baird starts with not very special items, really. Stats, again, needs some work. But this is what makes them all so attractive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really, the the Donovan guy, in terms of wielding a blade, she's probably just as good. He can't wear shields anyway, and um, well, I mean, yeah, okay, he's got magic, and he uses the naming school, but the main character can use naming. And most offensive spells are not, you know, they're they're in elemental anyway. So let's see what happens. Did I just get rid of Donovan forever? No, nope, he's right here. So there you go. He's not gone forever. <laughs> that's that's what's important. And apparently, one last thing to do: get out of my way, Arturo. Jesus, <laughs> dumb nut. See if there's anything I want to buy right now. Ring of Healing. Suppose I could use one extra ring of healing. Boot speed, I've got four, I don't need any more. 
I tried on the spirit shield, and if you you might recall, the uh, right the whites the they were using like this blue shield, not really big looking. Uh, in the episodes when I was in the tower, well, that's what this, that's what they were wielding. It is a spirit shield, so that's good to know. And the Dundar shield I haven't put on yet, but I'm sure I'll get around to putting it on and see what it looks like in battle. Okay, I still think there's supposed to be somebody. Maybe I don't remember. Uh, there's somebody that's supposed to be here by the well that I'm supposed to talk to and get an item from, but I don't remember or know when they actually do show up. So, oh well. All right, so right now, since it's nighttime, I'm gonna head over to the shop that's in the second part of town. And, well, I'm not sure what we'll do after that. I mean, our next goal is to head towards the Jundar city of Ugarit. But there's a, there's a good amount of exploring we can do around the, the bog and around Terminor and everything. And in addition, we can head back to Terminor, or not Terminor, um, head back to uh, the Wizard School in, in Tailwalk and do some tra training. Uh, there's training in this town that I want to do as well, actually. So I'm probably going to do that off camera. Here's the merchant that's only here at night. Chaos Sword, wow, there's some Chaos Swords here? It's crazy. Dart of Distance, meh. Enchanted Blades, I knew they sold them here, but they're not that great. Uh, Morning Stars, meh. Nothing special. Scythe, <laughs> I'm sure that would look kind of cool, but. Helm of Defense, there we go. Let's get one of those, so we have two. We can put one on Keelan and one on Baird. And that's all for buying. Train. Sword can be trained up to 10. Baird has sword at five. Oh, how did I not see sword five on Baird? Whatever, okay. So he's got it at five. That's good. That's like my minimum. <laughs> He's got no experience to spend, so I can't train him in anything. Um, missile. I can't go higher. I'm going to leave Sword at her on that's it, a 7 for now. Um, ooh, warrior to 8, huh? It's expensive. But let's get it to 6 for now. On the main character, though, I got a lot more experience because I didn't spend as much on spells on the two girls. So let's get this up to eight. And that to eight for now as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna let her get that sword up to five on her own. So no, I'm not touching that. Get warrior to six here as well. How much is, okay, they're about equal. I wanna try and keep them equal, you know? No spells to be trained here, but while I'm here, I guess I could show you this. Versus Elemental is now level 8 on Keelan. Uh, Fireball is also level 8. And I think for Keelan that was all, but let me double check here where I can actually scroll down. Yeah, Fireball 8 and Versus Elemental 8, that's the changes on, on her. Whereas on Brenna, it was Strength and she didn't have strength before and dispel elemental before, but I trained those to, to eight. So I had so much experience to spare. Main character, I just taught him a whole bunch of, you know, it's all level one and it's all scrolls. These were scrolls that I just used to teach him. Uh, nothing else otherwise. I have to go to, um, uh, to Tailwalk at some point to get these up to somewhere. <laughs> at least, I'd say at least five, preferably like eight. Uh, I need to, I need more spell training, which is why, as you see, I'm holding on to experience here. 300,000. 300,000. Almost 300,000, because I know that I'm going to need it. Oh, I need to equip. 
Let's do that now. She no longer has any of her stuff on. So let's give her... No, no shield. Yeah, let's give her the Jundar leather. She'll have the best stealth in the party by far. Plus 10. Wait, what? That, doesn't that thing give like plus 15? It does. Why is it... I guess the max you can get is plus 10. I mean, if I had stealth, maybe at 1, maybe not, but... Eh, whatever. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, gender... Well, actually, here. Let's see. Plus 10? Plus 12. Okay, yeah. The highest I can go with bonuses for stealth, anyway, would appear to be 15. Uh, I'm guessing it's the same for all skills. Anyway, uh, I'll just leave the dragon leather on her for now. Mercenary belt, boots of speed, um, gender gauntlets, literary cloak, wizard hat, ring of healing, shams amulet, and her weapon will be the bow. Where's the bow? There's the bow. All right. I need to get. I know there's somewhere else where I can get the uh, spellcaster rings that I've got on Brenna, but I don't know where they are. I'll have to find them. Give her the helm of defense for now, just because. May as well, right? <laughs> helm of defense on Baird. Of healing on Baird. Um, cloak, plate. Boots of speed, belt, dragon leather, may as well, right? And, oh, shield, before I go up to the weapons. Chaos shield. And he's already got five in sword. I might train that up at some point, but for now, I'm going to give him... Give him uh, one of my many maces. I give him the fire star. That's kind of pointless, huh? Damage, you know? No, nah, no. Um, give him chaos mole. I could give him lizard king's axe. I could give him the. Well, that's not really strong either. It's more of a no. I think I will give him for now the lizard king's axe. Because I like putting the Chaos Mole, and I've only got one. I like putting the Chaos Mole on the main character from time to time if I find that the lightning is not having any effect. The, the lightning proc on the Mesa Glory is not having any effect, and therefore I would get more damage if I used the mole. I'm actually really surprised that I've only got the one because. On another playthrough, on my other playthrough, that is, I've got multiple Chaos Moles. And it's just really luck of the draw, right? I mean, I haven't picked up any, so I haven't gotten any. But, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you can have that amulet. Why not? Ooh, wait, no, let's give him that. Oh, need to be Sun Aspect. Okay, fine. So he's Lunar. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. Because there's um there's a very cool I think it's a pole weapon. Maybe it's half, I'm not sure. It looks like a scythe. Uh which we're gonna we're gonna get very soon, and you need to be lunar aspect to use it. Tempting. Very tempting. <laughs> uh Plus 10 endurance. That basically max out endurance. Yeah, the helmet combined with the ring equals plus 10. I think. Wait, no. What's giving him that plus additional endurance? I 
don't know. Strange. Oh, eh, duh. <laughs> Lizard King axe. So his endurance is basically, for all intents and intensive purposes, maxed out. I don't need to touch that. Um, that's a, that makes it interesting. I could always give him a, another ring of healing, but eh, the magic the, it doesn't double up the magical effect. So I think we'll be fine like this for now. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Looks good. I think we're good. Oh wait. Oh wait, he has no experience, can't train him to sword up. <laughs> so I know I have like a lot of experience and I probably could go to 10 on eh, health, why not? <laughs> uh, no, I said I was gonna save it. I wanna use some spells too. So I'm gonna get my warrior and and, and uh, sword skill up on my character. Wait, did I do sword? Damn it, I did sword. I wanted halved. <laughs> I did it, didn't I? Yeah, so now I have sword at eight. Darn. I need to find out where I can train the half skill. Up to eight as well. That's kind of frustrating. Well, I could always switch to the Warfang. Anyway, I'm going to look into the shops factor, do some more shopping, and I'll pick this up once I'm on the road again. All right, so <laughs> I'm done all the shopping I need to do, training, whatnot, at least for in Terminor here. Did some modification to my setups here. I've got the Warfang currently on the main character. Gonna give it a try. Um, there's a really powerful sword you can get later on that might be, might make, you know, having the higher skill in sword Interesting. Let me character. I'll, I'll have to see how the damage compares to like you know with the Mesa Glory. Um, but yeah, I got uh, nothing really changed for Baird. The other three. Well, I was gonna give her a sword. Now that I remember, I'm gonna do it now. And, um, yeah, let's give her the enchanted blade for now, I guess. So, yeah, uh, I, I taught, uh, the, or rather, I trained up, oh, before I forget, the wizard spell. Yes, I bought another ring of healing. Figured, why not? <laughs> if I ever change his weapon. Uh, if I taught the not wizard the the warrior's skill to s I brought it up to seven on Keelan and Brenna, so just just to get a little higher, right? Uh, main character, you know, warrior at eight as high as I can get it here. Sword at eight, and I'll use swords for now. I can't get half higher than five until I reach the Jundar town anyway. So a lot of the skills training them to ten. Uh, all will, will all happen in the Dunder Town. So, uh, I trained up some healer skills here, a little there, a little here and there. So, that's all good too. And uh, I suppose really that's just about it. I'm thinking of maybe moving. <laughs> Zero spell battery. You want to know why? Because <laughs> I haven't rested in a while. I was thinking of moving one of those wizard rings to Keelan, but we'll see for now. I kind of like the idea of having plus two wizard and I think it's plus ten spell battery on Brenna. We'll see. Isn't this the end? <laughs> uh, I guess it's not. 
Where the hell is the inn? Anyway, I'll figure that out. If not, I'll camp outside. But, um... I kind of want to just pick a, pick this up right now and, and just let you know that. I'm going to end the episode here for today. This was ep episode 30. <laughs> and, and an episode in which we fought a very difficult uh, group of chaos minions and gained a new party member, met some new people, bought some new stuff, trained some stuff, and... That's really about it. <laughs> it was one big fight, and then a whole bunch of story walking around and shopping. So, next episode, we're going to go probably to the uh, tomb in the bog, I would say. It would be our next destination, just to go check it out. Maybe. Maybe I'll make my way to Jundar first. I haven't really quite decided. We'll see. But, uh, until then, hope you enjoy this episode. And I'll see you next time.